Hi everyone, this is Professor Mayunga and you are watching Uda Plus, the professional CAD CAM solution provider. Let's get started. Hello viewers, today I'm going to show CFD analysis of an air file using SOLIDWORKS Plus solution. And while performing this analysis, we need to import that air file profile and we can get that original air file profile from the website itself. And here in this case, we'll analyze a uh, NACA air file profile using SOLIDWORKS right so instead of modeling this one we will get the profile from the website itself so first of all import that profile it will be in the txt format right let us import that one so from the CFL tools we can get any kind of profile all these are standard profiles you can download this one from here as that file or you can copy these things right this is actually NACA 0012 air file right let us copy this from here Control c and that will be pasted on an excel file let us paste it actually in this case you can see only one column is here we need to convert this one into two columns right so select that column and from data you select text two columns and convert this one into two columns select delimited and next select the space option from here itself next finish you can see two columns are created right so first one is actually coordinate for the x1 second one is the coordinate for the y1 and we need to create another column that is for z as it is a 2d so z column coordinates will be zero we can provide coordinates of z as zeros let us provide that one zero and we can drag it up to the last point right done we are having total 63 numbers of coordinates and out of this one you can see here this is the middle one if you see the NACA profile it is almost symmetric from here to the upwards it is actually the top part of that profile and down we are having from 33 onwards this is actually the downward part of the profile right if you want to perform this drawing with this data you need to find a closed loop so let us take the y coordinate of this one as zero it is the starting point similarly this is the finishing point this one also should make it zero so these are the coordinates right now that to be saved in a text file right so we can save this one file save as and here i will save this in txt format now this code needs to be imported in solidworks starting with a new part And we are changing the unit system from millimeter gram second to meter kilogram second. And for initiating the sketch, we need to start from a specific plane. Let us start with front plane, normal to starting with features, and we need to start creating that point from here itself. Curves. It will be curved through XYZ points, and we can import it from here itself. Let us browse it change the file types and you can select NACA air file 0012 let us open this one and okay you can see this is the profile zoom fit so this is the NACA air file 0012 profile right now we need to sketch this one on on any specific plane so let us start with front plane sketch now select the previous sketch and we need to use the option of convert entities it is already done on the front plane now this one to be provided with specific dimensions let us see the dimension how much it is this is actually one meter we will check now we need to provide some features to this one and that will be started with here and we need to extrude this one right let us extrude this one by one meter done this is the naka air file 0012 profile right you can see it now before starting this simulation of this one we need to save it let us save this one to the previous folder by the name of cfd arrow file let us save this one now we need to start an external analysis to this one so starting with flow solution 
and flow simulation environment will be initiated with the wizard itself and we are keeping the project name as the default project one next to that we need to select unit system we are selecting si unit system and from main parameters we can select pressure as atmospheric pressure temperature will be in degrees celsius by keeping other parameters unchanged let us move on to the next one and it will be an external analysis and from physical features we need to select fluid flow and we are considering this one as a transient analysis and we will run this one for two seconds let us see the direction of gravity gravity direction is actually y you can see here itself along y it is minus 9.81 meter per second square and along z it is zero let us move on to the next one from gases it will be air and flow type will be laminar and turbulent next to that default wall thermal conditions and roughness we are considering and finally thermodynamic parameters pressure is one atmosphere pressure and temperature we are keeping this one as 20 degrees centigrade though temperature is not that much of important in this case we are considering temperature as 20 degrees centigrade and velocity parameters you can see that air will be moving along x direction so velocity of air foil in this case we are considering this one as 200 meter per second and we are keeping turbulence parameters as default let us finish this one you can see this is our commercial domain right let us hide this one next to that we need to select our goals let us select global goals we need to find different parameters like average velocity pressure and also turbulent intensity so first of all we select average velocity and also it will be average total pressure but at the same time we can select some other parameters like force in y direction that is actually lift force and drag is actually force in the x direction excluding that we can find parameters like turbulent intensity next to that we need to find out some surface goals also so goals insert surface goals let us select the surfaces we need to have forces it will be drag force and also lifting force both are selecting done so our goals are selected next to that we need to mesh it global mesh edit definition we can go for manual meshing and we can refine it let us see display of refinement level it is refined up to level one let us refine this one up to level three okay done this is actually transient analysis we're having total 100 numbers of iterations and after each point one second we'll see the results we're selecting time for this transient analysis as two seconds and numbers of iterations we're considering as 100 okay we have already selected the goals let us run with the new calculations iterations have already started let us see the results from solar window itself we want to see velocity distribution and image attributes let us make it to 2000 by 2000 you can see simulation is running let the iterations move on whenever it is finished we will see the results and go for detailed analysis right it will undergo 100 iterations and time equal to two seconds and after each point one second result will be saved you can see solver is finished let us close this one and now see the results from different cutboards right so results and let us insert cutboards and we'll see from front planes we want to see contours of velocity along front plane let us change the orientation let us play this this is velocity distribution across the profile right you 
instead of velocity we can see pressure also let us check pressure distribution You can see pressure at this tip point is actually high pressure distribution is symmetric top and bottom side and at the striking point pressure is also high very high it is in the range of 1.25 atmospheric pressure let us see velocity again this is velocity distribution along x direction the pressure and velocity actually reverse type you can see at the striking point velocity is very less it is in the range of 138 to 161 meter per second let us close this one next to that we want to see surface plots insert surface plots and when this conditions of velocity let us select the curved surface so as per normal rules velocity at the boundary should be zero so it is proving that one now instead of velocity you can see pressure distribution also right you can see pressure at the striking point where air is striking at the starting of this airfoil at this location pressure is very high it is in the range of 1.25 atmospheric pressure then pressure is actually varying at different surfaces right at this surface pressure is minimum it is in the range of 0.81 atmospheric pressure right clear and hide this one next to that we want to see flow trajectories and we want to see dynamics of flow particles right so insert and dynamics of flow particles will be initiated from here let us see the front end it will be initiated from here right and instead of 20 numbers we are making this one as 200 numbers of particles we want to see dynamic trajectories let us view it it will be better to see in the form of an animation right let us see it instead of dynamic trajectories we can change it to static one also let us see that so clear and hide this one and flow trajectories edit definition and numbers of particles 200 instead of dynamic trajectories we'll see static one let us view it you can see here color is different at different locations this is pressure distribution you can change it to velocity also let us see to velocity distribution this is velocity distribution you can see it from front end so streamlined motion is visible here itself at a different locations we can see different velocities and that is clearly visible with the color let us clear and hide this one Next to that, we want to see our results in the form of gold plots, right? So, gold plots, insert gold plots, and we will see all the goals. We can view the results from here itself, or we can transfer it to Excel. Let us export all these results to Excel. First one is surface goal, that is force in the y direction. You can see after 100 numbers of iterations, the force in the y direction is actually. 8.78 newton second one is force in the x direction that is also surface goal you can see after 100 numbers of iterations force in the x direction is actually 534.31 newton next one we are having global goal that is force in the y direction that is actually lift force 
again you can see here after 100 numbers of iterations it is 8.79 newton next one you can see global goal that is force in the x direction it is after 100 numbers of iterations it is 544.61 newton next one it is actually another global goal it is turbulence intensity after 100 numbers of iterations you can see turbulence intensity is actually 0 0.128 and next one it is actually average velocity it is another global goal it is average velocity you can see after 100 numbers of iterations average velocity is actually 21.85 meter per second and this one actually last one after 100 numbers of iterations average total pressure is 1.26 atmospheric pressure right so these are the different goals you got and you saw it from excel because view all these results from here itself let us see the results these are all the results and all these results can be viewed in the form of graph also from here summary let us change it to history you can see the results in the form of graphs right okay so this one will conclude out to this video this was a very simple safety analysis of an airfoil using solidworks thank you so much for watching this video thank you again bye if you like this video please subscribe and share and if you have any kind of doubts please write to me thank you so much for watching this video thank you again bye